lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer youth have higher rates of major depression, generalized anxiety disorder, and substance use or dependence in lesbian and gay youth. According to a 2002 study from the American Psychological Association, meanwhile in Chicago, the 2013 closing of six months of health clinics due to major budget cuts has compounded the problem of access for these same young people. For Chicago High School junior Corey Shapiro, a non-binary trans boy, a lack of resources meant not having a luck with therapy and lacking support, living in the, Chicago, in the LGBTQ community in Chicago, and be difficult for a teen. When asked what are some of the problems, Shapiro, who was a student at the rep, who was student rep for the Illinois Safe School Alliance, said, I've never heard of a mental health clinic for like LGBTQ youth besides, you know, Center on Halstead, but like, I am doing dialectical behavioral therapy right now and I just wish there was like DBT for LGBTQ people um, because it's so important like to be around people who are also queer or also trans. Well, I mean, for all youth, right? Having access to medical care and mental health care in your community is is so important. Um, a community-based mental health clinic um, can mean that you get um, necessary mental health medication. The American Psychological Association study also highlighted the mental health care is more commonly used and needed for men and women with same-sex partners. According to Sanaida Lopez, director of Proyecto Vida Sida, Vida Sida is a nonprofit organization that focuses on issues revolving around LGBT youth of color. They are also the second shelter for LGBT youth in the city of Chicago. For some minority and low-income LGBTQ youth have been hardest hit by the lack of care, resources, and understanding. Lopez told Rio Shai Youth, about ways the organization has dealt with budget cuts and future resources coming. Erie Family Health Center, they have the one on Division Street and they're on North Avenue. I know that they're also um, working on, if they haven't opened yet, they're working on opening a, a part for mental health care. Asian American Hospital does have a behavioral unit and although they don't have any outpatient, I've been told that in the near future, they will have access to outpatient care. Now Shapiro says the internet is helping bridge mental health service gaps. I run a blog and through that blog, I have met so many trans people and queer people and I've learned so much and um, it's definitely helped me a lot. For Rio Shai Youth, this is Carolina Gaya.